Hey, horror fans, once again, it's the Horror Miser Money G. Yes, here to do a recap of the previous night's episode of The Walking Dead. Yes. <laughs> now, I do apologize for not having this episode up uh, last night. Last night was date night for uh, me and Kelly, Ke or Kelly and I. Uh, we went to the uh, Raw is War, or Monday Night Raw, at the Wells Fargo Center and saw a nice, decent card up there. So that's the reason why this video wasn't put up last night, but uh, let's go on ahead let's talk about what happened on the previous night's episode of The Walking Dead. Yes. <laughs> so once again, we begin with a cold open with Rick coming down this, this long flight of steps in Alexandria. I actually really don't know where it's at, really. It could be Alexandria, it could be the hilltop. We're not disclosing the location, but we know it's a prisoner there, and of course we kind of figure who the prisoner is. Rick goes on talking about we having these lovely chats that we have, but he says that every time I talk to you, he doesn't say anything, and he goes about saying, we're building something. We're building the future that uh, that I promised Carl. Uh, we have an idea that he's probably talking to Negan, although we don't see Negan in the foreground or in the shadows. We just see Rick talking to himself. <laughs> yeah, so this episode is basically about building bridges, you know, getting everyone back together in all the four communities. You know, the Alexandria, the Hilltop, the Kingdom, and the Sanctuary. But, you know, all tensions are hard to die. So now, basically, this episode deals with uh, them trying to build that bridge that was destroyed by walkers. And, of course, uh, Maggie dealing with her replications of having regularly executed and keeping Earl, the guy that tried to kill her, locked up in a cell. <laughs> Now, it's pretty interesting to see what's going on because everyone's trying their best to get this bridge built. Uh, Rick is concerned because their food supply is very low and he knows that Maggie has the food. The deal is, is that they're supposed to give her ethanol, but they don't have that yet. So Maggie's more concerned about helping her people. <laughs> so they send Michonne over there to see if they can talk Maggie in to give releases of food for the workers so that way they can get the, uh, built, uh, the bridge built on time. Because Rick says they're a bit behind schedule. <laughs> now we see our old little friend Henry. You remember Henry the Kid? Yeah, uh, he's now been adopted by Carol and Ezekiel, and he's passing out water. Uh, we see this old savior, Justin, who uh, unfortunately wants to be the bully that he still is and take more water than he's allowed to have. This allows into a fight between Dara and Justin, and Rick tries his best to calm it down. But there's other problems as well. Uh, several of the saviors have disappeared without a trace and no one knows where they're at. <laughs> That's cutting the workforce down, uh, making the work, the project to fix the dam even longer. Where did they go? Who took them? Mysteries are afoot here, my friends. Of course, Justin's problems are just the beginning. Uh, Tara spots a walker herd that destroyed the walkers uh, running about, so they decide to blow some explosions and some sirens to keep them away, but Justin's, who is supposed to hit the siren, doesn't work. And unfortunately, that allows the walkers to get into this uh, lumber yard that they have uh, for lumber wood. Unfortunately, this allows the walkers to uh, impede on that, and this also has very bad consequences for Aaron. You remember Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he gets pinned trying to save somebody from a lumber, and it really does, really does bad damage. Daryl tries his best to fend off the walkers, but there's just too many uh, there, and it looks like that Aaron's about to come zombie food when Rick and Carol and the rest of the gang come and save the day. Uh, Rick does his nice job of shooting one of the logs, and we get a bunch of logs running down the way, and some nice special effects of some walkers' heads being split open <laughs> by the running of one of the logs. I thought that was pretty cute. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Hilltop, uh, Jesus is trying to talk to Maggie and finding out what she's going to do with Earl. And will she allow Tammy to see him? Because it feels as though uh, Tammy is pissed off because Maggie won't allow her to see Earl. <laughs> uh, but thanks to some nice talking and some pep talk, uh, she does allow Tammy to see Earl. And they talk about you know what's uh, how they've been living, and Earl feels embarrassed because. He's, he was an alcoholic. He allowed Gregory to talk him into drinking, and he tried to kill Carol, but he still has the rage in him. And then finally, uh, Maggie and Earl have this nice little talk, which I thought was pretty fascinating. And uh, she uh, tells him when he became a drinker, and he goes upon this nice little bad story about the time that he was drunk and he got into an accident uh, with his son, and that was the last time he took a drink. And he still asked Maggie, why did you kill Gregory and not me? Because he's still angry 
and he's still mad, which of course it's common, it's you know, no surprise there. The man's still grieving for his son, and we all know there's different stages of grief. You know, but Maggie relents and she says that she'll allow him to uh, release from the jail and work on the plow, supervised, of course. Meanwhile, back at the camp, uh, every more more tensions arise as Daryl once again beats the shit out of Justin. <laughs> uh, uh, very, very bad scene. Uh, Rick finally's had enough of Justin. He kicks it out of the witch book hall. And uh, there's still more tension to rise because we really don't know how the um, rest of the saviors are going to react to this. But eventually everything seems to be calm and peaceful as everything settles down. Everyone seems to be fine. And we see uh, Ezekiel and Carol. They're having fun. Carol asked Ezekiel to put the ring on his f her finger because remember last episode he did propose marriage to her. He tries to get down on one knee, but Carl says, no way. <laughs> That's not happening. And then we get another couple. We have Gabriel. Yeah, remember him and Anne. Yeah, they're a couple now. But I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, isn't he a priest? Well, he does explain that he is not a Catholic priest, so he doesn't have the vow of chat, uh, sub sub play. <laughs> celibacy. Like Catholic priests do. I think he's a, a I can't remember to pronounce the name. He's not a Catholic priest, so he's not bound to the vows of uh, celibacy like uh, Catholic priests do. So now we have another couple. <laughs> Some other minor things happen. While Anne is out on vacation, we hear the helicopter up in the sky. It sort of freezes for a moment, then it just goes away. We know that's coming from the Commonwealth. And then Justin, who is walking in the middle of the road, minding his own business, sees somebody that he recognizes, but then is attacked and jumped. Uh-oh. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> and of course, we get the final scene where Rick is once again talking, obviously, to Negan. I mean, we all know who it was Negan was talking about. He's saying that everything is working fine. We're all coming together. Like I said, building bridges is what we have, despite all the trouble that they had today. They still got a lot of work done, and that's what that was the main purpose of it. And Negan, being as typical as Negan, he says, Yeah. You think you got everything ready. You just getting ready all for me to take over. <laughs> yeah, you can't stop Negan. He still thinks that once everything uh, goes to shit, and he said it will go to shit, I'm going to take over because I'm Negan and I'm the man. <laughs> you got to get Jeffrey Dean Morgan credit. He knows how to play that role. Well, again, not much happened on this show, uh, on this particular episode. Uh, we do get some advanced storyline. Uh, fortunately, Aaron loses his arm. Uh, Aaron loses his arm because of the Witch of Palm. Uh, there's still tension going on the way. Uh, we don't know what the Hilltop's going to do, uh, thanks to Maggie. Uh, I do think that one of the things I liked about the episode was that they decided they need to have some common laws, something to uh, at least allow them to have some law because right now, because without any laws, it's going to be, there's no law. There's still too much tension between the between the the communities. There's too much tension between the communities, and without any type of law and order, it's going to the peace that they're having right now. is not going to last. You're going to head into anarchy, probably even worse than uh, when it was when Negan was in charge. So it was a fair episode. Like I said, nothing really spectacular happened. Uh, we did get some advance in the storyline as far as you know who's taking the saviors, uh, what's going on. Uh, the, obviously the helicopter, that's probably going to come into play. Uh, but again, not really much happening right now. We really don't know what's going to happen or where this story is going to lead together. All we know right now is that, hey, look, everyone's trying to work together. And that's basically for the benefit for all the communities there. So my horror fans, what do you think about the, that uh, episode of The Walkie Dead? Do you think it's going into the right direction? Or do you think it's still <laughs> ho-hum from last season? <laughs> <laughs> Leave your comments down in your comment section below and tell me what you thought about this episode of The Walking Dead. Well, that's my video for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up because it does help the channel out a lot. And once again, this is your first time here. Please hit that subscriber button and ring that notification bell. That way you can come and enjoy the horror experience with me, the Horror Miser Money G. And as always, all my social media links will be down in the description box below as well. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Miser Monty G, and always remember, horror rules. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. I'm out. <laughs>